He's over there pissing. What's wrong with him? There's a bathroom right over there. Come on, man. It ain't that ah. big. All right, guys. I am here at the lake and <sighs> don't. We, we have a show for you all. Look at these guys. We have Hank from Bass Geek, Eric from TM Bassin, and Adam from Bass Nut. Hi. But we got a collab going on for you guys. Hopefully we can get on to some good fish. We're gonna be doing some pre-spawn fishing and uh, just all that other good stuff. But uh, I think we're gonna be, I'm gonna be with Hank first and we're gonna switch up half the day and I'm gonna be with uh, Adam from Bass Nut. So hopefully we can get on some fish and stay tuned. Chasing right there. Mm-hmm. They caught one. I hope they did. I think they caught one. I hope they did. Oh, it's depresses me, man. I really thought it was supposed to be sunny today, though, didn't you? I can't. It said partly cloudy. I remember it saying partly cloudy. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but this is mostly cloudy. <laughs> this is cloudy. Yeah. Oh, look at there. I see a little bit of blue. Oh, there's a part. <laughs> What y'all doing? Pull it down the log well. Let's see it. What? Y'all catch one? Oh, we got four in there. You really got four in there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys are buttholes. <laughs> Man. That's, that's why it blew my mind when we went over there and they wasn't there. Because all logic tells you that those fish are back there hoarding those bait fish up, getting ready to move up on them points and them little cuts and coves and spawn. I mean, right? You'd think. That's exactly what I thought. That's why I thought, well, they're either gonna be there or they're gonna be, literally, they have moved up on top of the points. That's why I was like, let's mean you go over here and throw a jig and you know, cause yep. that sounds healthy. Oh, oh there's one. You got one? Pretty, pretty good one. I don't know. I can't tell. Probably not. He about took the rod out of my hand though. Hey! Oh, <laughs> casualty! Oh God, I on <laughs> <laughs> well, I cast it and I lost my. Crankbait. Well, it ain't a keeper, but that's the first fish of the day. Hey, you know what though? That's we've been we switched over to moving baits 15, 15 minutes ago and already caught a fish. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. Hank and I have not done so well. I, I've come to a conclusion that this lake absolutely hates me. It's always one link or another. You can't catch fish or something awful goes wrong with a boat that I'm involved with. But we are, we were trying to come here to Bubba's Brew and get us about to eat, but they are closed on a weekend, which I don't understand. So we're either gonna see if we can get pizza delivered to the boat ramp or we will uh these guys are about to hit my boat <laughs> look at them who are you hey hi but uh we're gonna see we're gonna try one way to get some food mess. so complete <laughs> fail hopefully <laughs> no you guys got like four feet that was that was it <laughs> but uh we're gonna get something to eat uh like i said it just like does not like me so we've only caught one fish well hank is actually the guy that's caught one fish. And Nobody wasn't even a keeper. Yeah, you know, it was. You all saw it. It was every bit of eight inches on a good day. Yeah. But yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully, we can start catching them a lot better. The weather is just not turning out to what they predicted it to be. I don't know how the weatherman has a job when he continuously lies. But I don't know. Well, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Hank and Adam actually went to go get something to eat because the place that we were actually wanting to eat at was closed. 
So Eric and I, we're just gonna stay right here on the boat ramp and fish a little bit more. Uh, just try to keep it a little bit different for you guys, but we're gonna pick the rod and reel up, got the tripod set up, and we will hopefully catch some fish right here. There's a fish. It's a good one too. It's a real good one. Back here in the net. You check, guys. There you go, guys. It's a nice little fish. All right, guys. We just finished eating, and we switched boats. I now have Adam. We're uh. Never mind. You don't know what we're doing, but Hank and Eric are back there. They are getting ready to come on. Um, we kind of figured something out, we think. So we're, we're just gonna to be, local guys. we talked to some local guys that fished a tournament, and uh, they all said spinner bait or a small crankbait. So that's what we're gonna be throwing, small crankbaits, spinner baits, and uh, it, Hank bought the pizza, didn't he? Yeah. I, yeah, I wanna thank Hank for the pizza. I forgot to thank him personally. I will thank him personally, but gonna thank him for the for the pizza he's the real MVP right now but yeah gonna, that was mighty nice of him we're going to hopefully catch some more fish we're going to stick it out here for a few more hours now and, does, uh, does this count as is this tournament here the one you already have in live well oh, it's just for whatever we'll count it <laughs> but we'll tell them we threw it back and then we caught another one that same exact size all right That's how are we gonna cool. how are we gonna manipulate the video well you can edit yeah, but okay. <laughs> Bacon. Bacon. Oh, oh my god, dude. <laughs> he got off. Right there at the <laughs> boat, man. Did you not see him jump up out of the water? It's about, it's about 12 pound smallmouth. Easy. You know, you really do got one, don't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got All one. Right. Come on, keep, baby. Keep, 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 keep. I don't think it is. Ain't cool, dude. No! <laughs> Cody's the victor today with how many you got? Four? 17 smallies, guys. 17 smallies. This is probably going to be a 45 pound bass. Cody's going to bring out his fish and Hank see uh, and see how he did. Hank's bringing the uh, connect scales out here. Just the scales. Just Hank's the over here getting the scales out. You know what? I swear the scales might be dead. Uh oh. Got you. Got me. Oh man. Hey, the battle scar. Oh Sacks no. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at that little small. Dude, that's a. Oh! Five pounds! <laughs> ja, 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 giant bass! <laughs> what do you think? The quarter inch is probably close to three. Three, yeah. Maybe. Maybe three. Maybe. On a good day. Well, good catch never less. You're the only one that pretty much caught anything <laughs> besides Hank. That little date he caught. Well, you yeah. caught a small, or catfish, didn't you? I, he I caught, caught one of the small mouth catfish. catfish. I got that in. Really, really well, All right, man. Well, I'm going to get her in the water. I'm gonna get a release on this girl. Alright guys, we're gonna end the video here as y'all just saw. I was unfortunately the only one that caught a keeper. Uh, I was actually hoping we'd all come out here. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was hoping we'd all come out here and you know have a had a pretty good day on the water, but that's that just wasn't the case. Um, all these guys are gonna be linked in the description. We have Eric from TM Bassin. His link will be in there. I also have Adam from Bass Nut. And whenever, there's Hank. Hank over there from Bass Geek. If you guys do not know him, go over there and check him out. Subscribe if you want to. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this, I know we didn't catch many fish, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know if you want to see more. Hopefully next time 
we can get actually get onto some good fish. And uh, that's all I have for you guys. And until next time, catch them big. Catch them big. Catch them big.